it's good to see you. Oh, it's good to be here. It's always good to see you. It's always good to see you too. You don't hear come here much, I, I, often enough, because I really like having you here. I like being here. You know, I, I show up every day if you want me to, Ellen. I would love that. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you come be my go my co-host one day? Let's do this. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'd love it. <laughs> Think you're so fancy because you got your star and the Walk of Fame and everything. Oh, yeah. and you're not going to be here. I'm real fancy. Yeah, now. yeah. I'm real fancy now. Where, where is it? Uh, it's right in front of the uh, uh, music museum over there, which is great. You know, I drive by it all the do time. Do you? You know, looking. It's kind of weird, you know, I don't want to get out because it's like, it's like when I first started doing music, like playing my own music real loud, you know, would always feel weird to me that I'm running around like bumping my own music, uh -huh. trying to look important. So, you know, I, I go by the star, I peek at it, make sure no bums are like sleep on it. Or <laughs> nobody's doing nothing uh, nefarious on my star. So. Uh -huh. Kind of cool. just, just you just drive by and look at it. I probably look at it, make sure it's clear. I send a couple right. fans, you know, do some recon on it, make uh -huh. sure it's clean. No <laughs> gum, no gum. No, no gum. Um, but th that just uh, made me think. Like, if, if if one of your songs comes on when you're driving, do you keep it on? Yeah, I keep it on. And like, if people are next to you in a car and they're like looking at you and you have your own music on, <laughs> is that okay? It feels weird. Yeah. It do, but. Hey, you know. Yeah, I think that'd be. I make good songs, so I'll bump You made great them. songs. <laughs> you made great songs. Thank you. So you had your 25th wedding anniversary since I saw you also. Yes. Yeah. What did you do? We didn't do nothing too crazy. You know, me and Kim, we've been together for a long time. We didn't do nothing too crazy. On, on my 20th anniversary, I reproposed to her. And she said yes, which is cool. That's good. That's good. But we plan on doing it big on our 50th anniversary, so we got something to look forward really? to. Really? Yeah, yeah. So you're just, that's either a really cheap way of getting out of gifts to say <laughs> you're going to do something on the 50th, or, but you really are going to do something big on well, the 50th. Well, I mean, I got to figure out a way for her to keep me, so, you know I what I mean? See. So, you know, I promised her something on, our, on the 50th if we'd do it real big. Smart, smart. Um, you, so congratulations, you've got so much going on and now you have a hit show on VH1, you have Hip Hop Squares. Yes. So it's, an, it's like Hollywood Squares, remember that game show, Hollywood Squares? So you're doing Hip Hop Squares and you yes. just got picked up for another season, right? Yeah, it's been great, you know, on VH1, Hip Hop Squares. I mean, we found the craziest, like, personalities we can find, threw them all in squares. Some of them didn't know how to play tic-tac-toe. <laughs> this is, you know, this is a problem with our school system out here. Uh -huh. But, uh, <laughs> but it, it's cool, you know, it's, it's really all about these people getting together and, and really acting a fool. Yeah. That's really what it's all about. And it's fun, man. You know, we got a great host with D-Ray. VH1's been great. Uh, the producers on the show has, you know, really kept the quality up. And, you know, where else you gonna see guys act a fool like this? Um, except on the Ellen Show. Yeah, except for, yeah, here and there. <laughs> um, and now there's a rumor that you're working on new music. Is that true? Oh yeah, I'm. On, you know. I you got are. Some, new music coming out this summer. Yeah. Have you written it already? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm. I'm, uh, I'm almost finished. You know, I'm in the studio. Uh, you know, mixing, mm -hmm. getting it right. You know, I gotta be. You know, right, I was selling no wine before it's time, so. Uh, so are you, uh, will the music be a little different uh, with this administration than previous administrations? <laughs> it seems like it, you know, everybody's fired up, so yeah. it's time for music. Yeah. Yep. yep, I can't wait to hear it. Oh, can't, yeah, it's time Can't wait to hear what you're doing. Um, would you, be, are you political? Would you run for office? Oh, no. No, <laughs> just, nah. you use your music. Yeah, I use my music, you know, use entertainment. You know, I'm an artist. Yeah. So I'd rather, I'd rather paint what I'm feeling than to sit up and try to, you know, deal with Congress and them crazies out there. Yeah. You know, they, they more crazy than the rap game. So uh, I, I, yeah. I'll stick with rap. I you know what I mean? I understand. We're safe. I understand. <laughs> um, and so you started a basketball league, right? The big three. The big three. So explain this. Uh, professional three-on-three -three basketball. Some we all grew up playing, you know, if anybody played basketball, it was three on three mostly, morning, even five on five. So I was like, yo, you know, why, why isn't this on a professional level? And what, what made me really get going is because I saw like Kobe Bryant score 60 points in his last game. And I'm like, why is this his last game? If he could score 60 points, obviously people still want to see guys like this play. So that's what really got me and my, my uh, guy, Jeff Quantin, 
that's got, that got our balls rolling and really got it going and really, you know, uh, really helped us to elevate this idea and bring it to fruition. We just signed a $15 million deal with Adidas, which I'm happy <laughs> with, you know, it's, it's just cool that the sports world is embracing the big three and we got a combine and a draft April 12th. It's gonna be live on FS1, so it's great. That's fantastic.